Welcome back to Chasing Green. My name is Jake. It's been a while since we posted. Uh, it's been tough. Our state's had a split. Basically, we get about a little 10-day break in the season. We went through that. We opened the season back up in my home area where I live now, in the north part of the state. Glenn and Gus came up there. It was a pretty, pretty eventful trip up. They had a CV axle go out on the truck about halfway up. We had to get that fixed. They lost a couple decoys, went through a snowstorm. But they made it nonetheless. We went to just some places we had never been, some places we had been. We hunted for three days up there, but it was tough. The first morning, we didn't even see a mallard. Didn't hardly hear any shooting. The second morning, same thing. Not many ducks. Uh, the third morning, we actually went on a little Canadian hunt. Killed one a piece. I never killed one. Gus never killed one, so that was pretty cool. But the ducks were just not there. We've had some significant weather events, some cold, some good hard cold fronts, some heavy rain uh, back in our home area in the southern part of the state. We were bone dry. It was like a desert. And uh, but over the past two days, we've had several inches of rain. So uh, the places we've been wanting to hunt should have water now. And we have some good cold weather coming this week. This morning though, we have a buddy on the west side of the state call us and said he's found them. Uh, Gus is already over here with him. We're going to meet them. It's about an hour and a half drive. It's 4.15 right now. And uh, we got it. We hope to meet them about five. It's some private land. We've never been there, but it's like a swamp, deadening beaver pond type thing with mallards in it. That's right up our alley, as you guys know that watch us. So. It didn't take much convincing when they called. But hopefully we get off the struggle bus this morning and we start we start working on them. Uh, we'll see you in the duck hole though. Hang with us. What is that? Breakfast. Thanks, Doc. Gus. Wish I had waited a minute on buying that biscuit. <laughs> Good right here, Peyton? Uh, just trying not to block the road. Uh, there's some, I guess, bow hunters that could be coming through, but probably would be fine. Uh, I just kind of pull up and like right over here in this curve or something. Okay. Down here with the chasing green boys, hanging out in the old dead. What's up, man? Another day in paradise, man. My headlamp just died. <laughs> My feet are wet. Waiters leave. I'm just thinking about how on YouTube we have music playing right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, da. Ha <laughs> ha! 
like this tallest buck brush. Kind of straight off the end of that log you're walking towards. Straight off the end of it. Those did right. Well, we got one green head down. They're starting to fly a little bit. Hit that thumbs up if you like the green heads in the swamp. Got back up and flew. He went down, and uh, I got over there, and right when I was getting close to him, he lit out. We heard you shoot. It sounded like a he's rolling out shot. Yeah, <laughs> they were both in the air over the treetops. Yeah, that's what I told Peyton. It kind of threw me off because there was like some ripples to the left, but it wasn't him. I don't know what caused that. Well, he like was behind that tree forever, just sitting there dead still. And then he eased out around the corner and looked, and looked at our coys, and he started easing back. <laughs> That's when I shot. He was like an old long beard. Oh, he like was out. Something is not right. <laughs> he was out the first time. Yeah. But you notice, like I turned the call from this way to that way. I think he thought that we were around this island mm -hmm. somewhere because, like, as soon as I did that, he come back. Mm -hmm. Like when I said hit, like I quit looking at him and then I looked back and he's balled up going in there and that's what I'm saying, hit him. Yeah. But well, you know, I seen just... him balled up like right here, but I thought he was going to like swing around, but he just. He got like right over, right over these trees and he went from like sailing to like. Yeah. I don't know. I probably should have shot him. He came by me close enough to shoot him. <coughs> he was about to pile in the decoys. Yeah, we did as well. <laughs> Yeah, he come in right. That's how you want him to do right there. Big old fat green head. What you got to say about it, guys? I think it's a big old fat green head. <laughs> oh, he did. He did right. Yeah, he did. 
I said, Peyton, are y'all good? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I was over there in a bush, boy. Yeah, my feet were a little cold. I was getting some dry land on. Finally had a few few more fly around this morning. Uh, had four or five right then, kind of looking. But most of the ducks, they just are being kind of kind of skittish today. Hitting them with the call, they really ain't even paying attention to it. But well, you always have that one that gets reckless, and that one was reckless. <laughs> so he come in a little too hot. Now we wound up with two. Yeah, it was it was a typical chasing green excursion. <laughs> We ran them out and they've been seeing a bunch of ducks. We get over here, we don't see any. So it was exactly what you could expect from our crew. We'll, uh, we'll get out of here so they can kill some ducks next time they come back. But the two we did kill did right and they were pretty. So I guess we're gonna go uh, regroup, get ready to head to some public ground in the morning. We're gonna go to the WMA we've kind of had on our minds that sh should have a fresh flood on it, green timber. Um, so Lord willing, you will catch us there in the morning.